Hi guys, and welcome to episode one of The Sims 3 Generations Let's Play. So, this is a brand new LP that I am starting. I asked you guys, I think earlier last week, um, to vote on the next Let's Play because I decided that I'd want you guys to go ahead and take control this time instead of me choosing a Let's Play that you guys might not want to watch. So, uh, Generations won with... 17 votes. There's 37 people who voted and uh, Generations was the one that was mostly voted for. So I went ahead and created The Sims for it. So um, let me go ahead and introduce you to The Sims first. So first off we have Destiny Baker. Now her traits are gatherer, excitable, family oriented, schmoozer, and nurturing. Nurturing is a trait that did come with uh, Generation, so that is a brand new trait. And this is what she looks like. I really wanted to try hard and just, I don't know, practice create a sim a little bit more. Um, they do have, she has custom hair and makeup and skin and pretty much everything except for that top which is from Supernatural and I believe the boots are base game but this is what she looks like I absolutely think she's so gorgeous and I just cannot wait to start playing with this family um, and her favorite color is pink oh that's actually funny it matches that and choose it um, she likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and she likes roots music and she is an Aquarius and I already made her um, and Lance, which is him, boyfriend and girlfriend, so I don't have to go through all of that. And so this is Lance Byers. He is a vegetarian, handy, nurturing, frugal, and computer whiz. He likes the color yellow, also likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and is a fan of pop music, as well as he is a vertigo. No, not Vertigo, Virgo. <laughs> well, um, so this is what he looks like. I just thought he was so gorgeous because he basically, when I was, one day I was working on a, just, I was in Creative Sim trying to look at the custom skins because I've never was able to download them until now. And the Sim that popped up was so gorgeous already. I just changed up a little bit of things like his eyes. I gave him contacts and changed the skin up and gave him like really nice flipped hair and that's really I just fell in love and I was like oh my god he'd be perfect for this let's play so what I also did do was um well I didn't do I didn't really use much of the generations clothing it is in some of their other attire but I didn't necessarily use it in their everyday wear only because I thought that if I did that it would make them look kind of plain so I really wanted to just change it up a little bit um, so that's really that. Oh, I didn't tell you guys their lifetime wish. So, basically the story behind Lance is he kind of is like a really big nerd, but doesn't perceive it by the way he dresses and stuff like that. But he's a big nerd. He wanted to, um, either major in, um, well he majored in like the medical field, but he either was going to go into science or like the science career or a medical career and he decided to go into the medical career so he has the um, world-renowned surgeon lifetime wish so he will be working as a doctor so I'm actually excited because I don't really play around too much with the world-renowned surgeon um, lifetime wish so I'm actually happy to go ahead and do that now for Destiny I just gave her the typical um, surrounded by family, uh, lifetime wish, only because this is a Generations Let's Play, so I kind of want to go ahead and play around with that and have them, you know, have a lot of babies, you know. I think it's going to be so fun because, oh, I can't wait. I'm, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. It's just, oh, okay. Um, so we are not in any of the towns that I would typically use. We're actually in Storybrook County, which is a... Um, what is it called? A custom t custom made town. I'll have a link to the website where you can go ahead and download it. The only problem with my Storybrook County is the fact that since I don't have certain let um not let's plays expansion packs installed, I don't necessarily have all the buildings. So this this world is basically separated into the suburbs and into a city place. 
So this is like, they live in the suburb area, which I actually am perfectly fine with. I didn't really want them living in a city area because they are going to be starting a family and they're going to need a lot of space and all that. So I think they live in a perfect area. They live right close by to the, the park. He lives right, Lance lives right, right across from the hospital, so it's perfect. Um, and then over here we have the city. See, the thing with the city, if you see these blue uh, boxes, that means that I don't have those certain expansion packs installed. So most of these are either clubs or karaoke places or uh, apartments and stuff like that, and I don't have them installed because I don't own Late Night and I don't have Showtime installed because it was giving me a lot of lag issues and it was just not fun. But when I do end up getting a new computer, I don't know when that will be, but if I'm still playing with this family, then I'll obviously end up installing those expansion packs so it looks like a full town. The only thing is we probably won't be coming um, into the town as much because everything is uh, a lot closer to the suburban area so there's not much that we need to go into town for but one thing that I will say is wow I just lost my turn of thought just kidding I won't say anything because I can't remember but um, I think that they live in a perfect area and the school is right there so they probably won't be going into town too much obviously it would be great if we had like a bar or something that they could go to to like go out to drinks or something like that we will try and visit. I might add in a few more lots. I'm not sure if this place has... I didn't really explore this too much. Um, but I'm not sure if they have... Oh, they do have a dog park. Okay, so I don't have to really add any. What I might actually add is the boardwalk that came with Roaring Heights. I was originally going to plan on having this family live in Roaring Heights, but I decided to just try out a custom world and, you know, play around with it and show you guys around. So... Let's go ahead and start playing, I guess. I mean, I've been rambling for, like, what, five hours now? Um, so, I'm just so excited to start this LP. And this oh, I should probably show you guys their house. So, I gave them a tiny house. Um, it wasn't too expensive. I think it was, like, 16000 And it is small, but I feel like it's really homey in a way. Obviously, they won't be living here forever because their family is going to be growing, but... For right now, I think it's a perfect size for them too. And I think they have a spare bedroom as well in here. Yeah, they do. So they have one bedroom right here. That would be their bedroom. There's the living room, the kitchen, and I guess that could be another bathroom. So I'm really excited to go ahead and start playing with them. But first off, I think what we'll do... I don't know if my sound's on, actually. It is it. The super wind blows... Oh, that's the weather thing. Okay, so we will have, we're not going to have you join the business career. We're actually going to have her, oh, I mean, no, I meant to cancel that. She's going to join the daycare career, which is basically a typical thing that everybody um, has them, you know, join. Well, the woman or the man, whatever. But in generations, that's typically what it is. Oh, pillow fight? Actually, I haven't seen pillow. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> oh my god, they're so adorable. Oh god, I love them so much already. Like, I just can't wait. I hope you guys fall in love with these sims. But I'm gonna have to ruin their fun and have Lance go ahead and um, get a job or join the medical career. Um, as for Destiny, I think she's gonna have to go ahead and go to the library and go sign up for the daycare career or profession because we wanted to do that uh, only because I think I haven't really played around too much with the daycare career so I kind of want to explore it more. Uh, I obviously haven't really explored too much with this. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Except career. So I think it'll be fun. It'll be kind of like first impressions in a way, but not necessarily, because I've seen it before. Okay, so it says, congratulations, Lance just got a new job. Lance needs to be at the Twin Brook Fountain Hospital at 9 a.m. on Monday. Lance's boss is Antone Case. Having a good, excuse me, I wasn't done reading that. <laughs> Having a good relationship with your boss never hurts. So he has now joined that career, which is 
awesome. And he's going to go ahead and go home. And the great thing is he doesn't really have to take a carpool because he lives right across the street from the hospital. So it's perfect. And when they have babies, they're right across from the hospital. So it's like the perfect location. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Destiny and have her. Where is she? Where is she? Destiny. Donde esta? Why isn't the library loading? It looks so awkward. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to be inside another building. Hopefully they have computers. Yeah, they do. So we're going to go ahead and have her go on the computer. Not you. Oops, oops, oops. Have her go on the computer and... No! I don't want the portal. Um... No. Let me go ahead and go into build mode and get rid of that because I do not want... The portal. I'm not going into the future. This is generations, not into the future. So let's go ahead and delete that. So we got 725 simoleons for that, but it's okay. I mean, money is money, right? Um. So let's go back to Destiny and have her. Ooh, why isn't doing this? Don't read. Don't read. No, 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 no. We need you to go ahead and sign up for the daycare profession. Hopefully it's on here. If not, we'll just have to wait another day and sign up. Or if the newspaper comes by, we can go ahead and do that as well. I don't know why it's not loading. It's probably because it's a brand new world and I haven't really... It might I Hopefully it doesn't lag because it's been smooth for me for the most part. Um, since I've been trying to practice like moving around in this town, like it, like the controls are pretty smooth, so I'm actually happy about that. So... This episode isn't going to be too long, only because I'm just introducing you to them. There's not much else to do except for get them their jobs and, you know, live their daily lives. So we're not going to do that or that. Oh, there we go. So the daycare career. So it says amateur babysitter, weekly stipend of 100 simoleons from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And she's going to work. She's <laughs> I said she's going to work weirdly for some reason. She's going to work through Monday through Thursday, which isn't bad. So she has three days off. And I'm just going to read this quickly. Um, it says, do you have what it takes to keep toddlers and children happy? If feeding, playing, and changing dirty diapers sounds attractive to you, this profession might be your calling. Eventually, you will also be able to to care for children as well as toddlers and make sure they are in the right track to success, on the right track to success, in school and properly behaved. Start caring and teaching kids of this town now. So that sounds actually pretty interesting. I haven't been able to, um, whenever I did, hold on, let me pause this. Every time I actually played with the daycare career, I only got, I never got up to the children status. I think I only got up to level two, which is like nothing. So hopefully we can stick with this career and do well in it. So this blurb popped up saying, crying children in erratic moods are not for everyone. Amateur babysitters may think a little tender love will do the trick, but they'll have to be quick on their toes and care for two kids at once. Grab your baby bottles and toys because this might be a bumpy ride. Congratulations, you have unlocked the new uniform. Destiny now makes 100 simoleons per week and works from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so I am can't wait for that to happen because, you know, we'll be able to explore that career more. So let's go ahead and send her back home. Uh, since she already has her career. And let's go back to Lance. I think these guys are just going to hang out at the house a little bit. And I might... What is he doing? Oh, he's relaxing. Ooh, okay. Um, let me see what he needs for his career. So he needs logic skill. I really want to get him into um, the inventing skill and the chemistry lab thing that actually came with Generations. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add it now or a little bit later, but I really would like him to get into that because I think that would be a fun thing to do, to be quite honest. Um, and it did come with generation, so I feel like it would be nice to show you guys that. Uh, let's, let me just go ahead and actually get that so we can go ahead and place it somewhere. And I'm not sure where you're going to find the chemistry lab, but let me go ahead and look for it. I'm assuming it'd be in the entertainment, maybe. Maybe. But it might be expensive, so I might not be able to get it, actually, now that I think about it. 
Um, what is this? It's a workbench. Okay, so the chemistry lab station is a thousand simoleons. But you know what? I'll get it only because it's going to be worth it because um, it's going to help his logic skill, which will help him get promotions and all that. But I'm going to put it over here in just the living room area. So I think we'll just go ahead and have him start working on it, you know? Never, never too soon to start. So let's go ahead and have him go ahead and discover a potion. This actually looks so cool. I say actually way too much, don't I? I apologize. But you can even hear the bubbling if you listen closely. Hold on. This is so cool. So he has this trait, not trait, a need that says... Discover a potion. The act of scientific discovery is a thrilling journey into the realm of undiscovered knowledge. Your sim wants to discover a potion. Discover a potion using the Catalyst Chemistry Lab station. Eureka! Um, so learn logic skill. And let's see what she has. She wants to learn the writing skill, which you could probably do on the side. Visit the Vault of Antiquity. Your sim feels in... What is this? I've never seen that before. Oh, she wants to get married, of course. Oh, that's so cute. I can't wait to get them married and everything. Um, so, this says, Your sim feels like learning a little bit more about the proud and strange history of supernaturals. Time to visit the Vault of Antiquity. I've never seen that before. That's so weird. I've never... So she wants to le reach level 2 of the daycare career. Uh, I'm not going to have her play around with potions too much, only because if she's going to be pregnant, you know, those chemicals are not good for her. So, you know, let's not have her breathe them in. Even though he should probably shouldn't be doing it either, but it's okay. It's part of this. Um, but he looks so cute in his, like, lab. Mm, look at him. He looks like mm. such a smarty. He, like, fits in, though. Like, I feel like he does look like he'd be, like, a nerdy sim. Maybe not necessarily from the way he dresses and all that, but just, I don't know. I just think he's really intelligent. Um, but, yeah. I mean, there's really... Oh, my God. My voice is going. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode here only because... I don't really want to prolong it too much because it's just me introducing you to The Sims. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this Generations Let's Play as much as I will. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!